allow me to introduce a piece of research which explores the teaching of explicit study skills alongside your curriculum plans. Here are nine study skills all supported by research. Number one, elaboration, generating and being able to explain why a student comes up with a particular answer. Study skill two, self-explanation, being able to explain new information. Study skill three, summarization, a bite-sized overview of the information. Four, highlighting, I know when I was a young man, I highlighted everything, never was taught how to do it properly. Highlighting is marking potentially important information whilst reading. Study skill five, Mnemonics, this is the mental imagery to help us recall and remember, to, to store information. Number six, dual coding, not learning styles. Now this is what I'm doing here. I'm presenting the image in support of the text. I may want to present them one at a time in reverse order, so text first, then image, or image first and text. It's entirely your choice, depends on the context of what you're teaching. Essentially, what I'm doing here is synchronizing the information to make it easier to process. It's not learning styles. Rereading is the restudy of text material. Study skill eight, retrieval, so low state quizzing, high challenge but not stressful, and making the quizzes, the retrieval practice, desirably challenging, desirably difficult. Instead of using the word test, use quiz and watch what happens. Finally, we've got spaced and interleaving practice. Spaced will know is scheduling content over time. Interleaving, my favorite analogy, think of a fruit salad, so apples, pears, bananas, but not the baked beans. Mix similar categories of the same topic when building knowledge over time. Now, your four power tools. This is supported by a great book, Powerful Teaching by Pooja Agarwal and Patrice Bain. Retrieval, spaced, interleaving, and feedback. Perhaps where teachers should spend their most efforts. Now, take this further. This is the research by Don Losky, published in 2013. Even in their own evaluation, they said they need to explore the research and recommendations a bit further. So I do wonder where we are 10 years later. And in the links in this video, you can see my own blog interpretation of the research and what I believe we should do. Here is your kind of league table, so to speak. So this is your efficacy on exam outcomes. You've got the high retrieval space into leaving at the top. Then you've got your elaboration, which has a medium efficacy. And then all the others are mixed up, but they're all having a low impact on outcomes. So don't ignore them. They do make a difference, but your best bets are probably at the top. Now, here's the key slide that I've been sharing on my travels, inspired by my work with Ellen Howe when we published The Revision Revolution. Teaching explicit study skills from day one at school alongside your curriculum plans. In September here, we've got the study skill highlighting. That might be in year one, year seven, in history, PE, maths, whatever subject, alongside what we're teaching pupils is we're gonna introduce this explicit study skill to be taught alongside the curriculum material. In October, it's repeated and strengthened. And then we also introduce a new technique. So we've got here highlighting, then summarization, and then into November, highlighting, summarization, and then self-explanation. And you can start to see how these things connect together. I've highlighted the text, I can now summarize what I've highlighted, and then I can explain the new information that I've studied through the curriculum plans, but from these skills that have been taught. By the end of year seven, all these skills are explicitly taught, and this can be mapped across the entire year, across a subject, or across the entire school. If you couple this alongside the revision revolution recommendations, and what I now know about the brain and how we learn, then you're definitely going to upgrade your teaching and learning. Get in touch if you've got any questions uh, and read more in these two new books. Thanks for watching.